a collection of essays we might more commonly describe as personal essays or narrative journalism, the editor of this now older text makes a large and oft-repeated point that creative nonfiction is not widely accepted and that therefore what is done here in this book is vital to writing. Okay, we can ignore that Montaigne, the originator of the essay form, and hundreds after him wrote such essays. And we can ignore that so much journalism today, well, since the 90s anyway, I think, recognizes openly the role of the journalist's framing of a story and so actively incorporates themselves into the telling of the story. But be my guest. But did you have to demand that every one of your contributing writers parrot their concerns about creative nonfiction as well? So, despite recognizing the important work Gutkind has done in his teaching and publishing, his heavy-handed work and editing here was a bit off-putting. Nevertheless, the book remains a potent collection of essays from some very fine writers. Think Diane Ackerman, Intazaki Shan, Francine Prose, and John McPhee. And no reader will leave this book unenlightened on any number of topics from bigoted fathers and Emmett Till's legacy to brain-damaged narration and early navigation techniques, from the links between culture and food to metaphors, to, and from Jewish divorce rituals to hunting wolves. I was not bored by a single essay, and each made for both a relaxing and compelling exploration.